So this morning, hundreds, uh, rather thousands of people plan to take to the stairs at Seattle's Columbia Tower. That's over a thousand stairs to raise money and awareness for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Our photographer, Doug Dillon, joins us now with more on the annual big climb. Doug, who have you got there? Uh, Amity, I am with Dr. Liu. He is the CEO for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And we were talking earlier, Dr. Liu, what are some of the amazing things that you were telling me about of the, the, for this year alone that's yeah. happening? Doug, thank you. It's really great to be here for the big climb. So this, this is one of the most important fundraising events that the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society does around the country. We take the money that's raised here and we invest it into research. And let me tell you a little bit about the impact. So last year, the Food and Drug Administration approved 18, 18 new therapies to treat the blood cancers. And through the funds raised by events like this, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society was able to impact 15 out of the 18, help discover and develop 15 out of these 18 new drugs. One of them is a completely new way of thinking about how to treat cancer. Um, some of the groundbreaking work was done right here in Seattle at the, at the Hutch. Yeah, it was that, that's the one with the, um, uh is that the venom one? So this or? is called immunotherapy. Okay. It's an approach called CAR T therapy. It uses the patient's own immune system to find and attack and eliminate the cancer. Here's what we've been able to do. We've been able to repurpose a deadly disease virus. Today, physicians take a crippled version of the AIDS virus and use it to reprogram a patient's own immune system so that their own white blood cells attack the cancer and eliminate it. It's, it's Star Wars medicine. <laughs> that must feel really rewarding to be part of that and see out of 18 introduced to the FDA, that 15 of them, you guys had your hand in it. Yes. Um, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society was founded in 1949 by a father and mother who lost their 16-year-old son to leukemia. And they set a very simple course for us, raise funds, support research, and find a cure. Um, what I can tell you is, over that period of time, we've invested well over a billion dollars uh, into cutting edge research, and we've touched the discovery of nearly every modern day therapy used to treat the blood cancers, and some that have gone on to treat other forms of cancer as well. Oh, that's amazing. Amity, we'll have more from the big climb, which is taking place today. King 5 has a team here, Amity. I, uh, yeah, they'll be climbing later on today, but we'll be talking to some more people who are raising funds here. It's a great event. Uh, doing great things for uh, cancers, you know, to fight blood cancers. Yeah, absolutely, Doug. Thank you. It's an event that is actually making things happen, like the good doctor just said to us. Thank you so much, Dougie. We'll check in with you soon.